know that I remember you came to the house and you was like, okay, so what are you guys saying? Where are you guys' relationship at? And I was like, I want a divorce. I want out. <laughs> like, I want out. I was like, pastor, like, I remember I said to you, I was like, I'm not ugly. I can definitely get someone else. Like, I have no kids. All I need to do is drop a bit of weight. I'm good. I can find someone. <laughs> I was like, pastor, I want a divorce. And but... We were in the same room, yeah. Yeah. And um, I said, look, I've had enough of this. I'm keeping house. You go back to your mother. <laughs> Um, and then when you spoke to me mm. and you was like, Pastor, I, you know, I don't know, I just don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm at my wits end. Mm -hmm. And and that was like the revelation to me. Wow. And then when we, we started to meet up and we said, okay, let's do this um, thing at your house yeah. where we're going to basically do this thing, Bible workout, growth mm. tools slash type of thing. Mm. Yeah. And we got another, and we got some uh, couples. couples to come and join us. Mm -hmm. And in that, I really started to see as we were going through the word, mm. reading the word, mm -hmm. it was almost like, like a balloon that had, you know, like a, uh, you know, an inflatable something that had kind of deflated, you know, deflated a bit. Uh -huh. Each time we were coming, yeah. being pumped up it again. was being pumped up again. Yeah. That not just coming to church, but as you guys were spending time in the word, mm. thinking about the word, uh, meditating on the word, praying over the word, mm. it's like you came alive. Yeah. It was definitely a help. It was like a, let's say, as you said, uh, the air was like a motivational energy back into the relationship. Yeah. That energy then motivated us to do prayer or at least speak to each other with no animosity yeah or just forgive each other yeah so every time we had a bible workout or we had a uh i don't know prayer meeting or whatever it yeah. was it just it, it spurred something up in us it sparked something and it just goes to show that these support groups these connect groups bible studies friends follow up it helps mm. it, it, it helps you definitely because you're not alone for one and two it's accountability. Mm. I mean, there was another six people in the room when we're doing these things and we're saying, okay, bounce off of that and we can see that and okay, I wouldn't do this, but I'll do that and mm. it helps. Mm. I think it's 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 good. It's very good actually, <clears throat> should I say. Um, because obviously when we started doing, when you said that we're gonna start doing this at our house, I think you know that I remember you came to the house and you was like, okay, so what are you guys saying? Where are you guys relationship at? And I was like, I want a divorce, I want out. <laughs> Like, I want out. I was like, Pastor, like, I remember I said to you, I was like, I'm not ugly. I can definitely get someone else. Like, I have no kids. All I need to do is drop a bit of weight. I'm good. I can find someone. <laughs> and I literally told myself this. And I remember when you said, all right, do you know what? I remember you said to me, okay, do you believe in the word of God? Do you believe this? Do you believe that? Okay, so then how can you say you want a divorce? And I think because I'd kind of given it up, I was like, I am so done. I'd already planned my future without him. Um... When you said to us, okay, let's start doing this thing in your house. I was quite reserved. Adrian was like, yeah, like I'll do it, I'll do it. And I was just like, okay, whatever. So the first one that we had, I was like, I literally before, I remember we weren't talking and I was like, I don't want no one in my house. Don't want no one in my house. I don't want no one's kids in my house. I just, just want to be on my own. And I think by you guys coming in, it forced me to open up. I couldn't be comfortable in my show anymore. Mm. And because I wasn't reading or praying, this was what we was, it started at seven. We wouldn't really leave at nine. So it was always constantly conversation and going into the words. And I think we would do like one chapter, but going through that one chapter and actually studying it, I was like, if this man can do this, oh, there has to be something that happens here. So like what you said, it was like a balloon that was just about at its last, it had a last bit of air and that, growth tools or whatever you want to name it, it connect group just pumped it up man like that's what saved us yeah because i remember i don't know if it was before or after i just remember where i was in the in the room and i phoned you i was like pastor i want a divorce and but we were in the same room yeah yeah and um i said look i've had enough of this i'm keeping house you go back to your mother you take everything else Pastor, you just said you was in the room whilst we was on the phone yeah, yeah. We, was in the, we was probably 
in like, front I'm of each other. This. This, is, this, is, this is silly. <laughs> and before this, we had never spoken about divorce. Yeah. yeah. Like I've never spoken, I've never thought about divorce, but mm. something yeah. in me yeah. was like, no, you don't need this. Yeah. You don't need this. And it was like, saying that, I felt a relief, but I also felt, what am I doing? It's some joke, man. Have, have I spent these years being a Christian getting married to turn around and say, to turn around and say oh well, I'm only the only reason why I got married is because I'm saved yeah. that's the only yeah, reason yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so now am I going to give all of that up because like it didn't make sense but when you spoke in, when you spoke to me something resonated um, and it was just a spiritual thing